If you're like me, you sometimes embroider some things that you need to take out. So I'm going to show you with this blanket a couple of ways to do that. On the back of the blanket, we're going to begin our work, which is where you always work from when you're removing embroidery, because you want to remove the bobbin thread and then lift the top thread out from the front. So on this big fill area, I'm going to use this Peggy Stitch Eraser. So I'm going to turn it on. And you notice how when I use it, I can shave away the bobbin thread. Now, don't get too aggressive with this because just as it'll cut the thread, it will also cut your fabric. That's why it's always a good idea if you have a piece of good stabilizer between your tool and your fabric. Now, when we turn the fabric over, you'll notice I can take my tweezers and just lift those threads right away from the, the fabric. And that is a quick, easy way to remove fill stitches. We've already made pretty good headway on this piece just in a few moments. Now, I'll show you another tool that you can use, and that is the X-Acto blade. And the X-Acto blade is good, particularly on these column stitches. So if I get my X-Acto blade underneath the bobbin thread and just slice, turn it upside down. The flat side of the blade is going to be next to the fabric. Okay, so I'm just sliding this right along and in a moment I'm going to turn it over and lift those stitches out. So we've cut some bobbin thread here. Now then I'm going to turn back to the face of the fabric and lift those stitches out. Now you can see how many stitches that I can get just that quickly. Okay, so this is a great tool. Just make sure you slice right down the center of the bobbin thread and if your tension is adjusted correctly, this makes quick work of embroidery removal.